Hello fellow golfers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren and I'm really happy to share with you my game at Mandai Executive. It's a golf course where I started out playing as a beginner. Yes, we all started somewhere and this is the course which I started out playing at. This has brought back memories and I remember that when I started playing here, it wasn't that good. Uh, lots of duffs and tops and because the grass here is uh, muddy, uh, it's cow grass. So uh, there's not much that you can expect from your game over here. So I'm just going to share with you a very few simple tips on how you can actually uh, play better on this course. Uh, one would definitely be when you miss the green, the way we handle the grass or should I say the short game will actually help you with a uh, lower score. So as you can see over here the grass type is cow grass and there is uh, mud. It can get really muddy and we tend to normally dig in a bit too much and doves and tops are quite common around this uh, type of grass. So this is how we can do well on these situations. First, you would definitely want to have a narrow stance to help you with your rotation. Second, little or no risk hinge and have your club head swinging below your hips. If you like this tip, like and subscribe and share with your friends and I hope that you play good golf. Hole 2 is a par 4, it's dog leg right. I can take a driver and hit towards the green but what's the fun in that? So with a 3 iron, I'm just going to hit it down the centre of the green and leave myself with an approach wedge. The pin is tucked at the back, so I've got a sand wedge and the plan is to land it in the centre and let it release towards the hole. Did not strike this too well, so now I'm left with a really long part and the part can get really slow on these greens, so you have to give it a good whack. Just some things to take note, um, there isn't much break on these greens, so you can pretty much go straight for it. Hole 3 is a par 3 at 119 meters to the pin. I've teed it up, as you can see the tee box is uh, not really good. So with the tee, it will help you with um, hitting the ball a bit better. So my plan was to hit this low below the trees and let it run towards the hole. As this pin position is not really favourable for my draw, I'm okay with the ball being on the left side of the green. Now again, we have missed the green. So I've adopted what uh, I've spoken earlier, a narrow stance. Uh, use a 9-iron with little or no wrist hinge. And I'm going to swing the club here just below my knees. Hole 4, the pin is at the back at 131 meters. A 9 iron would get me there. Just get the ball on the green and have a good look for a birdie. No, can't beat the pro. <laughs> Hole 5 is a par 4 uh, that is dog leg left. I have a foreign in my hand. My aim is to hit it down the centre of the fairway and draw it back. I push this ball slightly to the right but the ball is still safe. The plan is to keep it in play. Now with 140 meters, I've got an 8 iron. I'm planning to hit it over the tree on the right side and draw it back. I would say that on this golf course, it's a good ground for us to practice uh, your short game. I would definitely would like all of you to practice the chip and run, uh, be it a sand wedge or pitching wedge or an approach wedge. And again, I've used the same uh, way of uh, doing my short game, a narrow stance little honoris hinge and right in the hole. 
So we're back to one under, moving on to the next hole. Hole 5 is a short par 3. We need about a full carry of about 100 meters. So I'm going to approach wedge and I'm going to attack the pin. So the ball landed about 3 feet short of the hole and a tap-in putt for birdie. On this hole we've got 145 meters. I've actually brought the wrong club, I've got a 9 iron. And my 9 doesn't go 145 meters for sure. But I was trying to aim this uh, far right of the green and hook it back to the pin, hoping that the ball would actually go 145 meters. But uh, wishful thinking, uh, the ball landed short of the green. And again, I'm going to rely on my short game to get up and down. Your short game will be the essential uh, part of your game that you're going to help with your scoring. So by learning how to be efficient with your short game technique is crucial. Hole 8 is again a par 3 at 105 meters. With an approach wedge, I'm going straight for the pin. Chanting my hole in one. Now we have finally arrived at the last hole of this Mandai Golf. The lie is uh, below my feet, it's slightly downhill. So I opt for a 9 iron with a 3 quarter swing so that I can get good contact on the ball and get the ball towards the green. Hopefully, with this part, I can get myself another birdie and cut a 4 under. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next golf course. Bye bye!